Now, what do I mean by the word myth? By myth, I mean an overarching grand narrative of cosmic history, the big story that we tell ourselves about reality. Philosophers use the term meta-narrative, which just means ultimate story. The idea of a myth is that it tells you about where you came from, who you are, what you're doing here, what your purpose is, and ultimately what's going to happen to you. And when I use the term myth this morning, I'm not using it in the pejorative sense of the term. That is to say, often when we use the word myth, we intend to imply that something is false. I'm not using it that way. I'm just calling it in the sense of a big story. Thankfully, there's another myth. There are many other myths, but I want to point you to one myth this morning, the Christian myth. And under this story, the universe is the product of God's deliberate and intentional purposes. And although hum the human condition is broken because of our idolatry of self, God has acted in history to redeem us and restore all things to himself. And when I think about the issue of physician-assisted death, I cannot help but go to contemplate the cross of Christ. Because it's at the cross that we find out that we're not alone. God knows our pain. It's at the cross that we discover that we are of unspeakable value that derives from something far above us. The God of the universe was willing to give up his own life in order to redeem us. And so our value does not derive from our own desires, our own wishes, our own preferences, but rather is an objective fact lying in God's intentions for us. We discover that pain can have a purpose. As Jesus hung on that cross, his pain was accomplishing salvation for the world. And likewise, the scripture is very clear that our pain also accomplishes something. This light momentary affliction is working for us an eternal weight of glory. Suffering for those who embrace the Christian myth is not meaningless. The cross teaches us the true nature of compassion. If God had taken the assisted death approach to showing compassion, he would have just put us all out of our misery. But instead, he entered into our pain. He shows us what it is to come alongside, to suffer with. That is the true meaning of compassion.